Good morning everybody and welcome to Matt Bayeski YouTube channel. It's a beautiful day, what an exciting little workshop we're going to do this morning. Anyway, first of all I want to say thank you so much. Let me take my slippers off. Let me say, come a little bit closer. Let me say thank you very, very much. Uh, I really mean this guys. And I'm, I'm sure you're going to really enjoy uh, the new book. That's uh, uh, just come out yesterday. Okay, there it is. From my heart to yours. Oh, I'm so pleased. I'm so uh, thankful and so grateful that it's all now ready. It's uh, a lovely book. It really is. And all day yesterday uh, and last night through through the, the evening, I was uh, busy, sat down, channeling messages. As you can see, I write a little message here. And um, it was, it's was it been a pleasure and I'll continue today because um, there's, a, there's a bumblebee in here and I don't like the bumblebees to stay in here too long. So I'm gonna just pause one second. So the bumblebee is now out. Uh, we need to look after the bumblebees, right guys? It's important. So, yeah, where was I? Yesterday, that's right, yeah. <laughs> Yesterday, uh, yeah, working really hard um, and doing personal uh, messages, channeled messages in the book. So they're all, they were all sent out yesterday and now there's a load more that I need to do this morning. So it's gonna be a, <clears throat> a full day of signing and doing a personal message to each of you guys who um, kindly um, bought from my heart to yours. So thanks guys for that, I really mean that. Today I'm gonna to hopefully give you something back today that may help you. And this question is a very deep question and I've, I've had it often. So I thought, you know what, I'll do a little workshop today for all you guys who are still on, who have, you know, who really want to do the work and really want to tune to a good energy and vibration. So I'm going to go through the process. It's going to be a, a, um, longer than a few minutes, of course. And for all the people who wanted the um, Quick fix, the, those the, those people with the mentality of quick fix, they've already gone because they don't get it in 30 seconds and they, they, they need to go, they need to find somebody else. So good for you if you're still here and you want to really learn the work. This is for people who are really, um, really interested in the work and want to really participate it, not the ones who want take away city spirituality, take away spirituality, right? You're the guys who really want to elevate yourself and like anything else, um, things take time and things are, oh, the, the things that are beautiful in life, the things that are powerful in life, you have to work for it. You have to, you know, train for that. So this is gonna be a good start for you and it's gonna give you tips like it did me because of my experience of how I got from um, one room to uh, making a whole home into that very energy. And here's the proof. It's called the Pure Energy Healing Academy. I've proved that you can make a whole house into uh, that vibration. And you know, if you, in fact, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, underneath here, I'm gonna post every single person who was here at the last Pure Energy Healing Academy. I'm gonna post what they said. So people normally give a little testimonial of what happened. And that's gonna be the whole of the, the academy, what happened to them. So proof is in the pudding, the proof is um, the people who came here, the last people, because I always say, you probably know by now, you're only as good as your last healing session, you're only as good as your last reading, because you can't look at the past and say, this is me. It's at that very moment that makes you who you are. So this is why I'm making this video to show you how to keep the level high and how to create this energy. So what is this video about today? Let me get comfortable. Let me have just one more sip. Okay then guys, let's get going. I've got uh, Moldavite and um, uh, Tektai on today. Great combination, very powerful combination. And it's gonna help me here and attune to that very energy that I'm about to create. A long time ago, I wanted to create the energy of uh, love, healing, and connection to the spirit world. And to be able to do that, you first of all need to understand that the spirit world comes through in the energy of wherever you are, when that energy is of its highest. 
So you all probably know by now, I say I work towards happiness. Happiness is a fluffy word, but actually, if you actually, if you could take that uh, energy of happiness and look at it under a microscope, you will see it is of the highest powerful vibration that is equal nearly to the spirit world. Mm, so when we get to that um, euphoria, when we get to that nirvana energy, uh, spirit world comes down and you come up, so you meet parallel. So that's what we're attuning to today. We're trying to get to that energy within a room and within ourselves. All the same, everything is energy. Everything is energy. Okay, so we need to get to that energy. Sorry about the car downstairs. This often happens when we're really tackling something really powerful. Very interesting, right? So, but then again, we have to learn to overcome the distraction and be focused in that right energy, no matter what the distraction is. And if you think about that, that is the distraction of the world, the people around us, the fear, the fear, the fear, the car, the fly, whatever it may be. We have to overcome the distraction and become more powerful in the direction of happiness and focused energy. So today we're going to uh, begin the work by um, realizing that over those years, <clears throat> I needed to attune to the energy in that room. I needed to work in that energy and I needed to know how I can make it more beautiful for our loved ones in the spirit world to actually come close, to be in that room so we it's tangible, we can feel them and that's where the miracles really happen. Well, I created that. I'm pretty good at that. I can say I'm pretty much a master at that because I've done it every day. <laughs> so I know it works. And ask anybody who's been to the academy over these 15 years and they'll tell you, Mark works very hard to keep the vibration, that energy high. <clears throat> and that's the key. It really is key. You're thinking, oh, I need to ask spirit to come through. And No, 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 no. What you need to do is get the energy right. So you need to make your home a home which is welcome. And this is what we're doing today. So first of all, guys, I think it's important that I share the fact that um, the energy in uh, any given uh, home or any given business needs to be uh, monitored. So we know now my first video is now nearly at 2 million views. It's all about a lemon. And the reason why uh, that video did so well is not because it's one minute long. It's because the lemon is an absolute natural um, absorber of negative energy. It is the thermometer of all thermometers in a natural um, environment. So if you put this uh, lemon, which has been here now, I'd say two weeks, and starting to um, get a little bit hard now, when it becomes like this, then you know the energy is great in the room, as is all of these. This one's a little bit newer. This is about a week old. Okay, so again, great energy. So no... Um, um, no negative energy attached to that, none at all, it looks perfect. When, <clears throat> when your room is in a negative energy, you normally find it goes off and starts to go moldy and little dots everywhere and like a green dust attached to it, which is very toxic, so don't touch that, just throw it away. Once you realize that your room needs cleansing, and every room needs cleansing, are you kidding me? I've just heard another one, another bumblebee. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Am I going mad? <laughs> we don't like trapped bumblebees. Okay, anyway, so. Oh, sorry, guys, where were I? So, okay. <clears throat> the energy in the room has to. Um, you, you have to feel that energy and if you don't feel it when it's a little bit negative that's why I have lemons because sometimes you know guys even me sometimes I think wow it, it, it feels okay and then a lemon will go off and think okay it needs cleansing so it's a great backup some people say oh no I know when it's negative in a room well sometimes I don't because I'm busy doing other things and sometimes it's very very um, delicate that energy that negative energy you know so you can miss it sometimes and that's why we become down sometimes and feel negative and we think it's us, but actually it's the energy around us and uh, within us, we create negative energy. So that's why we cleanse ourselves. So, by the way, guys, this is really uh, about um, cleansing negative energy and lifting the vibration. 
and being able to attune to spirit and allow spirit to come through. This isn't just about one thing, it's many different things. So if I go off on a tangent, there's a reason for that. Let you know, just go with it and enjoy it, okay? Today's a great day, enjoy it. So, <clears throat> if you want to prepare a room, say one room, not a whole house, one room, let's start with one room, okay? Let's do it that way. So first of all, we need to cleanse that room straight away, no matter what. Even if it feels nice, we're going to cleanse that room and make it really, really jet washed. We're going to jet wash it. And to do that, you all know by now, or if not, you need a bowl, you need sage, dry sage, and you need one of these with a stick at the end, okay? So you put the sage into the bowl and you burn the sage. The secret about burning sage in a wooden bowl, and it needs to be a thick wooden bowl, nice and thick, so you don't burn yourself, it gets too hot, you know, and even so, it will get hot. But anyway, this is what I use, it works best, and yeah, people say, oh, it's gonna burn, no, that's as much as a burn you'll get, okay? So you pour this in, um, maybe about, up to about, if you're doing a room, up to about here, so, no, let me show you, okay? <laughs> Just show you. Okay, so if I'm doing this room, I'm gonna pour about that much in, okay? So I've got about that much. So I'll begin by um, lighting it. it. Takes a little bit of time. Some of you say, it doesn't light, it doesn't light. It takes time to light, Sage, and you really need to work at it. So you start to burn the Sage like this, okay? I might as well go through it with you. So it can take 30 seconds to a minute to get it going. So you start to see the cinders burning. Okay, sorry guys, I'm trying to show you at the same time. But just suffice to say, I'm burning away and I'm gonna, in a moment, start to blow. Because the secret is, can you see it? The secret to burning sage and clearing the negative energy in your room is the smoke. Not a little bit of smoke, but a lot of smoke. You need to smoke out the room completely. Okay, so when I'm nearly ready, and I think it's really starting to um, cinder up nicely, I'm gonna now take that off and blow. And once it gets going, it starts cindering and then gets more and more and more and more and you keep blowing. And then basically what you do is you go around the whole of the room. This is a great sign, by the way, guys, because it's gone out. After I've stopped blowing, it's gone straight out. That normally means that the room is pretty good energy, but it doesn't matter. You're going to keep blowing and you're going to go around the room, all around the room, and you're going to continue till all of that is completely burnt and gone, okay? So the room itself is absolutely fogged out from, from bottom to top, the whole of the room, okay? Once that room is done, you go out for one hour, two hours, come back in, and then open all the doors and windows and allow the sage smoke to remove all the negative energy. That's what sage does. It clears the energy from all negativity completely. It strips it blasts it out, it clears it from the walls, it draws it out of the furniture, out of anything in that room, the walls, the floor. So once that's all out, you have now got a fresh canvas to begin the work, okay? Stage, step one. Well, actually, step one is the, the lemon, step two is the sage. Okay, so once I'm happy and I come into the room, it's nice. 
uh, I'm ready now to start the work. And remember, this workshop is about bringing the energy into this room so it's a high vibration, so the energy of spirit can come through very easily, okay? A lot of people ask me, will I clear um, uh, the, the love of my mom or dad from the spirit world if they're already there? No, for some reason, um, what I realized really fast is that when we have moved from um, this world into the spirit world, the sage doesn't affect us. This, uh, what we call, um, I keep thinking there's a bumblebee here. <laughs> so anyway, this stage between the, what we call trapped spirit between, trapped between two worlds is a different vibration. They still um, sense, they still feel, they still, um, I believe, um, pick up the energy of sage. And for some reason, it clears that away. It clears them away. And where they go into the spirit world, I'm not 100% sure about that, but I do know. If you want to cleanse and clear a home of anything that you feel is a little bit heavy, which is could be spirit trapped in between two worlds, um, things that have happened, somebody may have died in that house, somebody uh, may have had arguments, fighting, you may have gone through heartbreak or loss, all that energy needs to go. So you've now created a very beautiful, stable environment with good energy after, after saging, if you sage correctly. And I mean, you've got to flood that room out completely with a very, very dense and thick uh, smoke from sage, natural sage, okay? So once the room's done, um, this is another wonderful thing as well. In four corners of the room, it's great to get uh, crystals to put in four corners. In fact, if you look in my four corners, I've got crystals in all four corners. Um, mine at the moment is rose quartz. And the reason why is I want love and protection and for anybody to feel comfortable in that environment. But you can use these, which are high vibration, uh, natural quartz, which will bring that room uh, into what I call clarity. It will bring clarity into the room. You'll feel more alive. You'll feel more aware of things. So that's one. You, you can <coughs> also uh, use these, which I love working with. These are like little, um, you see the shape of it? It's like a pyramid, right? So you can, I've got these in four corners in pyramids. Now, if you're using these, like I said, rose quartz will bring love, kindness, healing, protection. Um, it will feel almost like you, you're in a safe environment, okay? But you can use, which is equally beautiful as well, but just a slightly different energy. You can use amethyst. So, you know, if you're getting a beautiful amethyst energy, then you're creating more of a spiritual awareness. You're becoming more heightened to that spiritual awareness. The room will have the vibration of connection to the spirit world. So a great crystal to use in all four corners so, and so on. If you want the room to be more healing, you want to heal yourself because you're, you're wanting spirit to come through and give you more healing and to help you heal more, then you want to change that vibration slightly and you're looking at a nice, beautiful green crystal that will bring in that energy too. So whatever, I always see green as healing, as mother nature. So I, I see colors as well as, you might go online and see a crystal that feels right to you. I'd really love in four corners of the room, this crystal, because I feel for some reason um, attracted to that crystal. That's what you go for. So listen to your gut instinct with the crystals in the four corners. Okay, once that's done, guys, you now need to <clears throat> uh, clear yourself as well. Okay, so you need to get ready. You need to cleanse and clear your whole vibration too. When you're saging, sage will also help remove any negative energy too. But now we're moving on to the part where we need to... Um, uh, like fully elevate ourselves and get ourselves ready for the right energy. So we're changing slightly now from cleansing to now heightening our vibration. So, um, okay, okay. So going back a little bit, I would probably use um, this now, which is the cleansing. And I would stick the cleansing at the back. So I would take a few drops in my hand 
rub the cleansing oil, pure energy healing cleansing oil, and rub it in my back, okay? A great cleanser and clearer for a negative energy that may be within your body as well. So it's a, like a double whammy. You've done the sage and now you're rubbing that on there. So it's great. So I would use that for that. I'd now be looking at heightening my vibration in the room. So I'd get the awakening oil and I would put probably a couple of drops and then I would start temples, third eye, rubbing my hands and breathe. Wow, this awakening is amazing. Maybe just feeling I want to rub the top of my head. They call this the crown chakra, right? This is a great place for the energy to run through. So. I'll be rubbing some there, okay, pulse points as well, okay, like that. For some reason I'm feeling I want to rub some on my heart, so I'm doing that now. Okay, sacred oil, if I've got a crystal or two on me as well, which I have, I'm going to rub that in and just awaken the crystals a bit as well, okay. I'm going to my stomach with the sacred oil. Yeah, that feels good. Anywhere else? A bit on my throat. Behind my ears. Hear the truth. Speak the truth. Just some on the third eye as well. Feels good. Breathe that in. So I can feel myself raising already. I can feel my vibration changes as I'm putting this oil on. Um, and I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like really quite high in vibration. So now I'm going to go to the, um, the sticks, which are um, the, let's have a look, the awakening protection sticks. That's what I'm going to do now. And you can see within the sticks, very cleverly in there is the Moldavite, the sage and the frankincense, which is perfect that going and now I'm go going to lift my vibration, raise it by just going around my body. All around my life force, raising my vibration with the Moldavite. The Sage is also another beautiful whammy to cleanse and clear at the same time frankincense again, raising the vibration, and the Paolo Santo, which is the perfect energy to also raise your vibration, okay? So go with it all over your body, okay? This is basically raising your energy. And you can leave this in the room as well and go up and down the room with this to raise that vibration. Paolo Santo is an amazing, amazing um, connector, a bridge between the two worlds. It really is. It's a sacred tree. So I, that's my best seller. So it works amazing. Okay. Around the head. Beautiful. Okay, I'm feeling great. Now I'm going to leave that to just bring the vibration in the room higher. Now, this is what I do on the start and all the way through the four day pure energy healing course. This is exactly how we do it as um, channels, as vessels for the energy to come through, the powerful energy of spirit to come through. Um, you would uh, ask me, what is the difference, Mark, between your family and spirit coming through and the energy of the universe giving you that healing energy? It's a great question and I would suggest that I probably could speak to you about that all day and it's very, very complicated, but let's keep it simple. There are two forms of energy, energy which is around us at any given moment, which we can use and utilize as energy to heal ourselves and others. 
And then there's spirit energy, your family and spirit who come through and gives you the energy from the spirit world or from the energy around the universe, whatever you, you, you feel. But it's not really that important to know what it is. What's important is to get the room ready for this energy to come through. So uh, I think I'm done. Um, what I would do then is get my cards and I would just confirm and see if the room is okay. So what I would do is grab a set, my set of cards. This is how I do it when I was going into houses for many, many years and cleansing the rooms and clearing and getting the vibration high. So I would then quickly, I'm, I'm now um, just focused on this room. Is this room okay? So I would grab a card and I would look at that card and that card, yes! <laughs> so this card says Felicidad, which means happiness. And what did I just say? We have to get to happiness. If you look at the card, look at, look at it closely. There is a word there. I'm going to point to it. And it's, I don't know if you can see it, but it says happiness. It says happy and then happiness. There's a, also, if you look very carefully in this card, you'll not be able to see it uh, because it's how I see it. These are feathers. Feathers, uh, for me, is the connection, um, the heightened uh, awareness of spirit. When I see a feather, it normally is a, a recognition of spirit in the room or the energy of spirit because of the feather. It's, it's like lightness, pureness, and it's their message to say I'm here. So... And of course, there's a heart there. So that tells me we, we've hit it right. So if I was to just like, we've just got it, we've hit it right. You know, I could have chosen any cars and it could have been more darker, heavier. So we need to then cleanse it a bit more, do a little bit more, do a little bit more. So, you know, after these steps, it's always good to feel yourself. Does it feel right? I know this room feels right. I can feel it. But there is times that you're too busy doing other things and you're more dense and heavy and you're not as light. You're not in that energy to feel because you're worried, fearful, doing all these things. So I back it up with my cards always. So it's a, a great win-win situation. And everything that I'm sharing with you in this video is everything that I've used for 15 years. So... Um, I not only sell these, but I recommend them because I know they work. So this is how I work with them. So I think I've, I've done everything that I need to do. I feel good. My cards have confirmed it. Everything feels right. My body feels great. I'm now in the moment to be able to allow spirit to come through. So this today, guys, was my workshop on how to prepare a room or your home um, to the elevation of what I believe is the most purest vibration. So then it makes it easier for the spirit world to come through. You have also created a space where uh, negative energy has dispelled and disappeared. You are no longer in negative energy. You are in positive energy. You're ready to allow the energy to pour through you to be the vessel that is about to um, connect to the spirit world. You become um, almost like a... Uh, I don't know the word I can use, but yes, you are. You're just a vessel. And now you can feel things more. You can hear things more. And magic then happens. And please, afterwards, read the testimonials of last week of what people felt when they were in this environment of this beautiful, sacred space where spirit comes through. Okay? That's, you know, that's the proof. That's the science behind it. That's no lie. What they shared is what they felt in four days. So they are tuned from living an earthly life of being, uh, I think we had people who came were, you know, um, uh, guys, uh, women who are psychologists and, you know, w people who are what we call normal living, working people who wanted to try and understand what energy work is and what spirit's energy is and does it work. Well, you'll see it on the testimonials and that's your proof. There's your proof. You can talk as much as you want, but it means nothing. What you see is what your clients feel and what the participants of the course felt. There's your proof. So um, it does work, guys. This does work. What, I'm sh what I've just shared with you, which is a small proportion of how to um, 
actually create a space, a healing space, a temple space to be able to attune to your family and spirit. And it works, guys. It works. I have tried so many different hundreds and hundreds of essential oils, different oils from around the world, different um, uh, sacred sticks, uh, cleansing sticks, different trees, burning different things. I've tried it all. This works. It's a simple process of um, uh, crystals, oils, um, incense sticks, and some cards that bring that vibration to where we need to be. And of course, the um, the beautiful lemons. And it's that simple, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this little workshop of how to prepare. And then hopefully in the near future, I'm then going to say, right, we know now how to prepare. Let's now try and attune to spirit. Okay. And that's again, um, uh, something that we have to then be aware of and we have to um, work towards and train ourselves and, you know, practice makes perfect. But at least get yourself and get the energy in the room ready. Now you know. You've got the video. Give it a go, guys. And uh, please let me know after you've done it. Um, tell me what your experience is and how you felt after sitting down in that room for half an hour and just meditating. Did you feel anything? Did something happen? Was something quite amazing? Did you feel something amazing? Because if you prepared it correctly like I've just showed you, trust me, guys magic happens okay i'm gonna crack on thank you guys for buying my new book thank you for buying the incense sticks and everything that i've i've used here thank you for using that and trusting in my oils and in my incense sticks and in my working tools thanks guys uh have a beautiful beautiful day from my heart to your heart from a beautiful moldavai and um tech tie which is going to work with me today I hope your crystals are serving you well. Have a great day from my heart to yours. Take care, guys.